In today's video, we review Vegetable Police's 108 hour dry fast. He's the gift that keeps on giving. Roll the titles. For the record, I'm done trying to make y'all comfortable. For the record, you ain't trying to grow any stuff for you. Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. As always, just a quick reminder that I'm now offering the SIBO organic acid stool tests and consult via my website. So if you have any health or digestive problems then consider taking these tests as they will provide a lot of very detailed information upon which you can start making informed decisions and then start getting your health back on track. And on that bombshell, to the video. Now Vegetable Police's video is 18 minutes long and I'm not going to bore you with the ins and outs of all of this. Essentially, it all boils down to fasting removes the toxins and badness from the body and makes you superhuman. He goes on about enemas, mucosal plaques, parasites and everything in between. He also spews a lot of supposed benefits of long dry fasting and it appears that people in his comment section are encouraged to also do longer dry fasts. So as I said, I'm not going to put you through his entire video, but what I'm going to do is to give you and Vegetable Police 10 hard facts of why dry fasting is a dumb idea and why it doesn't carry the benefits that Vegetable Police and others claim. Number one is that there is no scientific evidence. The concept of dry fasting as it means to detoxify the body is not supported by scientific evidence. Numerous studies have investigated the effects of various fasting methods on health, but there is no research to suggest that abstaining from food and water enhances the body's natural ability to eliminate toxins. Assertions about the detoxifying effects of dry fasting are largely anecdotal and not based on rigorous scientific analysis. Number two, the body's natural detoxification processes. The human body has evolved sophisticated detoxification systems that work continuously to process and eliminate waste products and toxins. These systems involve organs such as the liver, kidneys, lungs and skin and effectively break down and remove harmful substances. These processes operate independently of fasting and are necessary for maintaining overall health and well-being. Number three, dehydration impairs kidney function. Now the kidneys play a crucial role in filtering waste products and excess substances from the blood, maintaining electrolyte balance and regulating blood pressure. Dehydration caused by dry fasting can impair kidney function by reducing the amount of fluid available for filtration and waste removal. This impairment can potentially lead to a buildup of toxins in the body instead of promoting detoxification. Number four, reduced liver function. Now the liver is the body's primary detoxification organ responsible for breaking down harmful substances, metabolizing nutrients and producing bile to aid digestion. Dehydration and nutrient deficiency during dry fasting can negatively impact liver function by reducing the organ's ability to process and eliminate toxins efficiently. And this reduction in liver function can counteract any purported detoxification benefits of dry fasting. Number five is stress on the body. Now dry fasting puts the body under significant stress as it must adjust to a lack of food and water. This stress can lead to the release of cortisol, a hormone that helps regulate the body's response to stress, but can have a negative effect on your immune system, your metabolism and your overall health when present in excess. High cortisol levels can hinder the body's ability to efficiently eliminate toxins and may exacerbate existing health issues. Number six is electrolyte imbalances. So dehydration can result in imbalances in essential electrolytes such as sodium, potassium and calcium. Now these electrolytes play critical roles in maintaining the body's fluid balance, muscle function and also nerve signaling. Imbalances in electrolytes can disrupt cellular functions, including the body's ability to detoxify itself and lead to symptoms such as muscle cramps, weakness, irregular heartbeats and even seizures in severe cases. Number seven, inadequate hydration hinders toxin elimination. So proper hydration is essential for facilitating the removal of waste products and toxins from the body through urine, sweat and bowel movements. Water helps dissolve and transport these substances, ensuring that they can be eliminated efficiently. Dry fasting deprives the body of this essential component for detoxification, potentially leading to the accumulation of waste products and toxins. 
Number eight is metabolic slowdown. Now during dry fasting, the body will slow down its metabolic rate to conserve energy. This metabolic slowdown can reduce the efficiency of the body's natural detoxification processes as fewer resources are available for the breakdown and elimination of toxins. A slower metabolism can also make it more difficult to lose weight and may contribute to feelings of fatigue and lethargy. Number nine is muscle breakdown. So prolonged dry fasting can lead to muscle breakdown as the body starts breaking down proteins to create glucose through a process called gluconeogenesis. This process can release nitrogen waste products such as urea and ammonia, which can put additional strain on the kidneys and liver. The release of these waste products may counteract any detoxification benefits that may be attributed to dry fasting. Number 10, and the most compelling reason of all, if dry fasting actually worked, then why would vegetable police and all of these other people have to continually dry fast to get their health back on track? Vegetable police has been trying to sort his health for years, and this should tell you everything. Anyhow, that's the end of today's video, and if you enjoyed this video, then be sure to check out this one up here because I'm sure you'll find it equally interesting. And the only other thing that's left for me to say is to remember to look after your body because it's the only place you have to live. And I'll see you next time.